Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy A53 for the first time. So first I'm going to, going to power off this device. And when you first take the device out of the box, make sure you have charged them up fully. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to press and hold on the side button to start up the phone and we're just going to wait for that to turn on once it has turned on you should see the welcome screen okay now I'm going to need to put in my SIM pin after that we are now at the welcome screen now you can choose a language so tap on the drop down list and select a language that you would like to use and then tap on OK. Next, tap on the Start button. Then in here, it says For Your Review. So I'm going to uh, Agree All. If you don't want to send diagnostic data, you can uh, switch it off. And then tap on the Agree button. Next in here, you can choose which services that you would like to use or not to use. So I'm going to leave everything on as the default and then I'm going to tap on agree next we're going to select a Wi-Fi network you can choose to skip if you currently currently do not have a Wi-Fi network so I'm going to tap on Wi-Fi and here put in your Wi-Fi password after you put in your Wi-Fi password tap on the connect button And now it is connected. Then tap on the next button at the bottom. Now the phone is checking for any new updates for the operating system. Okay, on the next screen, it says, uh, do you want to copy apps and data? If you have an older phone that you want to transfer the data over, you can tap on the next button. And here you can connect to your old device. Now, if you do not have, uh, or if you do not need to transfer the data over, you can choose don't copy. In this video, I'm going to choose don't copy. You can always um, go into settings later on to transfer the data over using smart switch. And now it is saying checking info, so we're just going to wait for that. Okay, then you need to sign into your Google account so that you can use the Play Store to download apps. So put in your email address. Once you put in the email address, you can tap on the next button and then put in the account password and tap on next. Okay, so I have put in the password and I'll tap on next. Next, you need to verify your account using a two-step ver verification process. So I will try to use this key to see if it works or not. If not, I can use other options. So here it doesn't seem to be able to scan my card. So I may to use a dongle. And once you have verified your account, on the next screen, you can choose, I will be using this device, or my child will be us using this device. So, and then select one of the options and tap on next. And here we go down and you can choose to keep your account updated with this phone's number or not. So you can choose yes, I'm in or skip. And here tap on I agree. And then we can, we're going to wait for the next screen. Okay, on the next screen, simply go down and choose what you want to use. So here we've got backup to Google Drive. You can turn off to switch off backup. If you want to turn off location, you can also sw um, switch it off. And in here, device maintenance, do you want to, turn, to send usage and diagnostic data to the server or not? So I will switch, uh, switch it off. And here you can choose whether to install apps or not. And after that, tap on the accept button to proceed. Now on this screen here, you can choose to set a pin, face recognition, password, pattern, or fingerprint. I'm going to choose pin. 
now put in one two three four so put in your pin and tap on the continue button put in the same pin again to confirm and on the next frame we're going to set up hey google so tap on i agree and tap on i agree then tap on ok for any of the apps that you want to use anything that you don't want to use you can simply deselect them such as Microsoft Office, if you don't want to use it, you can deselect them or LinkedIn or the Samsung Calculator or Microsoft Outlook. So anything that you don't want to use, you can simply deselect them and then tap on the OK button to go to the next screen. So you can see there are a number of different options that you need to select. And, and if there is anything that you don't want to use, you can uh, simply uh, deselect the items uh, to uh, to prevent them from installing on your device and now you can enter the Samsung account if you have one if you don't have one you can skip for now otherwise you can also create a new Samsung account here I will sign in with my Samsung account and I will accept some terms here and then tap on agree and it's a two-step verification so I'm going to need to verify it Okay, once you have verified your Samsung account, you can now tap on finish to finish the setup. And that is the basic setup, allowing you to quickly get to the home screen. Now, even when you get to this uh, step, it says discover and install great apps. So you can tap on the continue button, or it say later, but it, it seems like it's been disabled or something. So I can tap on that and say, are you sure you want to exit app setup? So I'm going to tap on the continue button and then here say enter your age and then tap on next and it will optimize app recommendations and here there are some apps it's um, it, it said that it is recommended that we install these apps so you can choose to not install them by simply deselecting the checkbox or you can leave them on if you wanted to and then simply tap on the finish button and then tap on finish to complete the setup. And now you're on the home screen, your device will still uh, attempt to download more apps on the background, so just leave them and allow the device to finish all the installation apps on the background. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. If there is, if there is uh, any step that you have uh, skipped, you can always go into settings in here and you can go in here and set up such as signing into your Samsung account or signing into your Google account. You can go into settings and uh, continue to set up your device. Thank you for watching.